All right, hi. Welcome back to school today. Again, we're doing another IXL lesson. We're still working with volume of rectangular prisms. So the previous lesson you guys worked on with me was um, finding volume of rectangular prisms with the cubes. But today they're not going to give you the little cubic units and show you everything. They're just going to give you the dimensions. Okay. So an example might look just like, so it won't look like this today. So I'm going to say goodbye to all of that support and scaffolding. And today it might just look like So today it might just be a four feet by two feet by, hmm, I'll call that four feet again. Okay, so again, the formula to find volume is length times the width times the height. How many dimensions are we working with? Those three dimensions, right? So we need to have it with an answer being cubic or cubed or a little three to show that it's cubed using those three dimensions, length, width, and height. So again, to model this out for you, you take your length times your width times your height, and you write them out as a math equation. So length is four, width is two, and the height is four. So you can group those numbers together because remember multiplication, the commutative property, yeah, I mean, you can just group it anyway. It doesn't matter if I do the four times two or do the four times four. You can do it anyway, and we'll get the same product. So I'm going to take this four times two and get eight, and then eight times that four leaves me with eight times four. What is it? Come on, basic math facts. What is it? That's right, 32. My measurement label is feet, so I need to write my label over here feet and put the little three there to show that it's been cubed showing that my answer is reflecting the volume because i measured the length the width and the height of that particular prism okay now i'm going to give you a heads up some of you may do some different problems where they'll give you some larger values but it's something that everybody has already learned so doesn't matter who gets to this. What if they gave you a measurement of maybe 25 centimeters being multiplied by 18 centimeters by maybe 24 centimeters? Okay, so what does that mean? You will take those three dimensions and multiply those out. So we have already learned how to multiply whole numbers Okay, so I will model this out as a, as a review for those that need it. So I'm going to take my length times my width. So 25 times 18. I have to make sure I keep everything lined up nice and neat, right? Okay, 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 plus 4 more. That's right, it's 20. Okay, are we good so far? Okay, then I know I'm finished with the four and I'm finished with the eight. So now I'm going to put in my space holder to represent that I'm now in the tens place value. So I'm in, lined up to work in the tens place. Okay, one times five is five. One times two is two. I would add up these partial products and I would get 450. Well, that's just a piece of it. That's just figuring like the area because I just did the length times the width. I now need to figure in the height. So take that 450 and multiply it by the height of this rectangular prism. Okay, so 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 5 is 20, regroup. 4 times 4 is 16 plus 2 more. That's right, 18. Okay, you do your X's and O's, cross out what you've used and won't go there again, put in your space holder to show that you are now in the tens place value position. Okay, so two times zero is zero. Two times five is, good, 10, regroup. Two times four is eight, plus one more is, you got it, nine. Add up those partial products. 
9 plus 1 is 10. Okay, IXL is very fussy. You have to insert the comma or they will mark it as wrong. So start all the way back here. Jump in three place values. Insert your comma. Put on your label or they'll have it for you. And we would say it's cubed. So if I had a box, okay, and the dimensions were centimeters, again, this is our bench, benchmark for a centimeter, the width of your pinky. If it was 25 centimeters by 18 centimeters by 24 centimeters high, we could put in, if all of these were in feet, okay, you could fit 25 square centimeters, 18 square centimeters, 25 little square centimeter pieces, 18 centimeter pieces, and 24 centimeter pieces. If you figure the whole volume, you could show that there would be 10,800 of these little square feet units in there, or centimeters. Let me fix my label. It would help if I keep my label consistent. So this would be a little centimeter, okay? A little cubic centimeter. So this is bigger than a centimeter, but this is showing you a cube. So it would be a centimeter by centimeter by centimeter. We could fit in 10,800 little tiny centimeter cubic, little cubic boxes in to that whole box there. Okay? So again, volume is the capacity that it can go inside of that. So 10,800 little tiny centimeter cubes could fill up this container. All right, so I hope you guys are feeling ready for volume of these rectangular prisms. Again, some of it will be very easy, just basic multiplication facts. Some of you might push yourself to go to the double digit multiplication that will then take you into the triple by the double. All right, you guys can do this. If you need any type of help at all, you know what to do, right? Call me, email me, text me, Google Hangout. I am here for you. Um, just. Whatever you need, let me know. Okay, have a great afternoon. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye.